Would you like to have a fish tank in your classroom? Students can learn a lot from fish tanks. Here at the Academy of Environmental Science, we have several fish tanks as part of our estuaries program. In this video, we're going to tell you a little bit about how we take care of these fish tanks and what we learn from them. Fish tanks can be valuable learning tools for a classroom. They provide an opportunity to observe the behavior of marine species in a controlled environment. For example, here you can see two sea bass that have adapted different coloration to blend in with different environments. Fish tanks can also help develop an understanding of water quality factors and how they affect aquatic organisms and ecosystems. Yes. After a fish tank is set up, it needs to be maintained on a regular basis to keep the water, plants, and fish healthy. One of the daily jobs that aquarium maintenance entails is feeding the fish. The food you use will vary depending on the type of fish you have. Always be sure not to use too much food. Excess fish food in the tank can increase ammonia levels and harm the fish. Another daily chore is scraping algae off the glass. This can be done with a blade scraper or sponge scraper, which can be purchased at most pet stores. Any large pieces of algae should be scooped out with a net. Also make sure to scoop out dead organisms. If left in the tank, they can create high levels of ammonia, which can harm your fish. When taking care of the tanks, it is important to keep an eye out for signs of trouble, such as filter outputs or intakes that are not flowing. This means that your filter is clogged. To fix this problem, check the intakes and outflows and clean off any algae or plants that are covering them. Also, rinse out your filter sponges or replace them if necessary. You should also keep an eye on water level. If the water level is low, add more water to bring it back up to the normal level. If you have a salt water tank, you can simply add fresh water since the water level is low due to evaporation and none of the salt has evaporated. Another daily task is monitoring water quality. One of the ways to monitor water quality is with a digital instrument such as a YSI multimeter, which measures salinity, temperature, and dissolved oxygen. You can also use nutrient test strips to measure pH, ammonia, nitrate, and phosphate. If there are high levels of ammonia, nitrate, or phosphate, you may need to do a water change. Even if your nutrient levels are fine, a water change should be done occasionally. It is recommended to change 10 to 20% of the water every two weeks. This can be done with a siphon hose. While taking out water, you can also use the hose to vacuum up the algae on the rocks that are in the tank. After removing water, replace it with water that has the same salinity level of the water in the tank. Fish tanks can be great learning tools, and the water chemistry and ecology that you learn from maintaining fish tanks can help you build up to something like aquaculture. We hope this video has been helpful and would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, the Toshiba America Foundation and the Southwest Florida Water Management District.